What's up everyone? So I've been planning on uh, doing this video since, what, 2015, give or take? Uh, but never got the time or the mindset to do so, but I figure I will give it a shot now. And mainly it's gonna be how to remove motion blur on your feet. For example, like for the Logitech uh, C920, C922 and C9. 30e as it comes for the webcams uh that i know of uh, um that's a, well pretty much have this particular issue and as you can see you got jazz hands pretty much it's called jazz hands when it's like jazzy and i want to show you guys how to remove that so what you want to do is you want to go down to whatever webcam you got selected of the series then you want to go into configurate or configuration and then you want to go over to uh, ex uh, focus, obviously remove that, that one, and that one as I remove exposure and set it to five, then afterwards just hit apply. And then you want to deactivate it and want to activate it afterwards again. And uh, pretty much that was pretty much what it does is uh, yeah, remove the blur and so on. Pretty much, so it's not as much of a jazz hands going on in comparison and also go ahead and uh just unplug my webcam as it is right now oh there we go now it's unplugged and it sh should come up the same way again there we go now i've got my jazz hands back again as you guys can see the jazz hands is here again it's really really jazzy um i'm gonna go back into the setting again going to configure it video just gonna drag that section over here gonna do the exact same thing again remove the pin for exposure remove the focus as well and the low compression definitely and deactivate and activate again I'm go get back over here and especially when it comes down to the c922 you have to uh put on gain and if you want a little more light than what it is on right now, you can also, uh, need to find it, give me a sec, there we go. You can also go ahead and uh, put on that pin to have a little bit more exposure or a little more, a little more exposure. And then it's gonna mess up with uh, the jazz hands and whatnot. And that way you're gonna have some awesome movements and I just did a mix up here, give me a sec, here we go. Because I clicked on it once, uh, two times. It's going to give you way better view when it comes down to uh, looking down at the mouse pad itself. So yeah, that's pretty much that. And also keep in mind, like I said, when you're using the G922, you want to gain it up to uh, 255. And then afterwards, uh, yeah put that uh, mark on and you can pretty much see what's happening when uh, whenever I click on that marker when I turn it on and off just a little tad more lighter and it's basically like in this case I'm using a green screen mouse pad um, which I can just go ahead and say uh, color key color key color key there we go and we're gonna have obviously want to have green on that one and I sh should be able to almost see myself in the back. Here we go. What's up, guys? <laughs> um, or chr chroma key, obviously. So, anywho, anyhow, this is what I have now. Hope this guy, well, ho hope this guy uh, help you out or will help you out for having a more smooth movement on your mouse. Like I said, it works for the C920, C922, and C930E. That's also the webcam I'm using. Uh, C930E is the webcam I'm using when punting down at the monitors while I'm live streaming. So you see like the full uh, triple months of view. And that's pretty much the process I do every single time. Uh, when starting my live stream or starting my dedicated streaming PC, 
I have to do this every single time. It's not a big deal for me because I've been doing it for the past, what, oh, seven or eight years, almost nine. Um, so, yeah. Anywho, anyhow, this is what I have now, and I will see you guys in the next one.